Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about pre-adjudication hearings in juvenile court in Arizona. Now, a pre-adjudication hearing in juvenile court occurs between the advisory hearing and the adjudication hearing, which is also known as a trial. During this time, we discuss the discovery process. We get all police reports, we interview all of the witnesses and the police officers that were involved, and we will get an expert witness report if necessary. We will also have plea negotiations with the prosecutor. Our goal is to get the case dismissed, uh, get a diversion dismissal, that means you write a paper or do some classes and they dismiss the charges after you jump through some hoops, or we will get the lowest possible sentence, maybe do a misdemeanor or probation with no jail if there has to be a felony. Now a lot of times we have to have a settlement conference where we discuss it in front of a judge and say, hey look judge, they want this, here's what we want, and the judge can help out one side or the other. Um, in regard to possible motions which can be filed during this time, we can do motions to compel discovery or interviews by certain witnesses, motions to suppress testimony, uh, motions to modify release conditions, and motions to allow travel or things of that nature. So if you or a loved one have been charged and you're in the juvenile process, if you go to our website, dmcanter.com, you can see all the case stages both before the pre-adjudication hearing and after the adjudication hearing. But if you need help, give us a call. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, but it does take about 30 minutes. We'll sit down in our office, go over your case from top to bottom, and hopefully we can help you out of this. Take care.